Okay, then we're back on the uh, abandoned desert outpost and display base for the battle wagon. Uh, right now, <clears throat> I'm going to test out these military metal paints. This is military uh, brass monkey. So to see how that works, is this a base color for this? I'm going to make this look, you know, kind of like a, a gothic Victorian um, look to it. I'm just going to throw this on it. Then we'll, we'll hit it with some washes and some verdigris and stuff like that. But I really wanted some kind of, um, like, a very highly, uh, you know, high strength antenna. So it was made out of some kind of uh, med med metal and stuff. And then, yeah, I'm going to use some kind of, what, plasticrete is whatever is in the 40K world. I'll do some kind of concrete bottom on this thing that it's set into. And I'm using the... Um, uh, Badger Renegade Velocity, and it looks like it's okay. I'm getting a little bit of stutter out of it. I don't know, it's not this flake is clogging it up or something. So uh, I'm gonna try to thin it out with um, some of this golden medium, airbrush medium. Put a couple drops of that in there. We'll hit some Brass Monkey. It's my stir brush from Metallics. Usually I like doing this out of the cup, but I'm just trying to get this done. Yeah, this is getting kind of it's kind of temperamental with this paint. But let's get it down. I don't know if I really like the way this is laying either. We'll see. I'll you know, wash it after this. And uh, see how that all works out. Well, I'm getting some really bad clogs. I'm really having to push this thing through. I got it at uh, 30 psi. It's really sparkling. I'll wash it, uh, tone it down. Maybe we'll uh, I'll throw some um, brown wash on this after we're done. Really, really temperamental. It's getting the job done, but it's, oh, it's driving me nuts. Let me see if I thin this out some more. So that does. There we go. I guess this needs to thin this out correctly. It's coming out nice. Thin it out quite a bit actually. And I think a nice wash will take the sparkle down a little bit. Then um, we'll do a brush wash of. Um, I'm going to try this stuff out. Where is it? It's a uh, uh, Gain Color uh, Verdigris. So, uh, not that might work. It's got a hint of green to it and that white, so it looks like it's just, uh, you know, very oxidated. Because obviously this doesn't rust, it'll oxidize. I might do some other colors and some turquoise in there too. So uh, that's going to be it for right now on this. Looks like we got the job done. Uh, and this is the first time I experienced the uh, metallic paints from um, Badger's Minotaur line. And they're okay. I don't know if I really like the way it's laying down. But um, we can fix that, and you know, not all lines can be perfect in every uh, respect. So far, the other paints are amazing. They just come right out of the bottle and right to the airbrush. So uh, that's going to be it for right now, uh, once again. And we will see you in the next video. Thanks. Hey, we're back. Uh, right now, I'm going to run some um, Game Color uh, sepia, sepia ink through the airbrush. I got it down to the same um, Renegade... Uh, a velocity. I got it running at 20 psi now, so it doesn't, so it doesn't need to be so heavy. And uh, ink's always a dream to run through an airbrush, no matter what kind of airbrush or ink. 
Uh, that's what I think he's originally designed for. And see if we can t tone down some of that uh, disco sparkle a little bit. And also, let's see if we can get, key up those, uh, we're not key up, get some really good detail out of those uh, rivets on there. I think this is good. This is exactly what I was imagining what I wanted to kind of look like in the first place. Hope you can see that. So I can bring it up closer to you. It's really, really toned it down and taking that real, almost like a glittery sparkle off of it. That was awful looking. Now I think I've heard something about, you know, their uh, metallics not being too hot. And obviously that is right. But that's only the first one I've used. And maybe in the right application, that sparkle, uh, that nice gleam might be something that someone wants. And I might do some different detail on that little piece right here. I just added that little uh, resin piece just to add interest to the bottom plate. And uh, we'll get the verdigris on here too. That's going to be uh, I'll probably make a wash like I did for that sand on the... Uh, if anyone's seen the last battle wagon uh, video I did, or actually it might not be up right now. Um, I just did a video before this where I um, used the Minotaur earth paint with uh, the matte medium and the flow aid mixture. It was the same thing that Les used on his original secret uh, wash, and I think it's the same recipe Secret Weapon uses on their wash. Now, I've made my own washes once in a while, but the convenience is to still buy the washes and you know, support our uh, companies out there. A bottle of wash isn't all that much money. But if I need a big wash, like my sepia black wash is a nice mix I like for certain things. I might even use it on this later uh, as a thing to bring out some of the detail. It's like a black kind of a, that sepia brown mix. So uh, that's going to be it for right now. Um, I will do some more de next detail thing. I'll come out and uh, show you that too. Uh, this has been uh, 2 minutes and 40 seconds. So uh, we'll see you in the next video. As usual, thank you for joining me. See you again.